Hi guys, it's Kat Krogan here from Fix It Physio and Injury Clinic. Thank you so much for getting up and watching this morning. I know it's nice and early, um, but it's a stunning day here in Wollongong. Um, beautiful, blue skies, lots and lots of cyclists out this morning, joggers near our place. So um, anyway, if you're still out on the road having an exercise session, watch this a bit later on, um, or if you're still lucky enough to be in bed, same deal. Um, we'll post this back on the Facebook page once once we're done. So anyway, if you're here, say hi, type in below. Um, and I'm super excited to be able to share this skill with you. This is something that you can do at home, you can do at the gym, or you can also do if you're away, okay? All you need is a trusty roller. So anyway, type in below if you've had back pain in the past. Just write back pain. That's it, great. Chuck it in. Hi, how are you going? Type in below who you are so I can say hello. Um, and I, this skill is something we, we love people to be able to self-manage. And the more skills we can give you guys to be able to see where you're at in life, see where your back's tracking, see where your support around your control and your core's tracking, the better you'll be off. Okay, so whether you're an athlete, whether you're a desk jockey, it doesn't really matter. Or if you're a bit of both, okay. This particular thing we... Um, use in the clinic and one of the reasons we use this in particular is with um, uh, our, our athletes or our desk jockeys who have back pain especially in a specific position however we've also found that it is fantastic for other people who just need to know how they're going with their core and just want a really quick check anyway hi if you've just joined me it's Kat Krogan here and we're going through a really cool little technique that you guys can use at home and learn how you can check how your core's going. Um, okay, so if I'll just give you a moment to go and grab your, your roller, if you're at home or at the gym, go and grab it. Um, whilst you're grabbing your roller, I just want to do a big shout out to Rookie in Wollongong. Um, went out to dinner there last night for their street food menu. Awesome, amazing, you guys have to go. Okay, you're back. All right, here we go. Grab your roller. Now, um, if any of you have been in here with back pain or needing some core control, you would have been given an exercise in what we call four-point kneeling. Obviously four points because it's got one, two, three, four points on the ground, okay? With four-point kneeling, obviously this can be done in a good position where I am, or it can be done in a poor position like this. Hi, if you've just joined us, it's Kat Krogan here going through this fantastic, cool technique. So if you, if you join me and you've got a roller sitting there, go grab it and come and have a go at this whilst we're doing it. Okay, type in below hi if, you, if you're with us. Um, okay, so what you want to do in this position is have your back in a neutral position. So your lumbar spine should have some curve there. It shouldn't be completely flat, okay? So a nice little curve. And then what you want to think about is with your belly button, drawing that belly button up there, you're pulling it with a little bit of string, okay? So that that's nice and firm. Okay. So this is your neutral position in four-point kneeling. Just give that a go first of all. So in this position, breathing out, so you get that tummy sag, and then slowly, slowly bringing your belly button up, but not moving anything else. Not moving your lats, not moving your lower back, just that position. Okay, then get your trusty roller. And you want to put your roller across your back. Okay? I'll wait until you've done that. All right, so we're still in this beautiful position in four-point kneeling. Tummy in. Now what you want to do, your roller is there to give you feedback. It's not to fall off, okay? Sure, you can do this with champagne glasses as well, or beer glasses, but the roller's a good one. Okay, so here, arm up and back down. Okay, tummy on, other arm, back down. No roller movement. Now if you're not controlling well, what will happen is that the roller will roll off the bottom if you start to tip up, or the roller can drop off to the side. Okay, if you're coming and you're twisting your hips. Okay, so nice and nice and easy. Grab your roller, give that one a go. Basically, you want to be able to hold it on there whilst you're doing an arm movement, other arm, one of your legs, the other leg, or both together. Okay, really, really simple. Get your roller, keep it on your back, and it's just gonna make you, um, it's really quick, really simple, but it'll give you a good idea of how you're going how well you can control that midsection of your body whilst you're doing a movement. Pretty low level, um, you'll be able to do this even if, you're, if, you're at, um, if you've had lots of back pain, if anything, you the guys that really need to get in and do this one. So anyway, there you go, that's my Thursday tip. Um, make sure you comment, like, share, 
Um, any questions at all, let us know. Um, even if you want a little bit more explanation on that, I can do that for you. So thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic Thursday. Um, and hopefully your running to Christmas is a good one. Okay, thanks a lot. See ya, bye.